Well, hello. Welcome back to another Friday game night. So excited to have some fun with you, uh, taking this online Bible quiz together. Uh, last week was, was fun. Uh, I think some of it was difficult for you. Um, but, hey, that's what Bible quizzes are for. You get those hard ones, you get those easy ones, but we still have fun taking them together. So let's get to this week's uh, category, which is... Thessalonians. <laughs> I'm not very confident. Let me be honest. I'm not very confident because um, it's been a while since I studied Thessalonians. So it's weird that they would pick a book. Why not Romans or John? But Thessalonians. Okay, we'll try it. All right, let's get to it. To our very first question. It says, to what to what did Paul compare his gentleness among the Thessalonian church? A nursing mother, a new lamb, a dove, or an autumn rain? Hmm. I actually think I know this one. Because for some reason, a nursing mother is being recalled. Because it was interesting to use that. Uh, so, that'll be my guess. A new lamb. Mm, I think of Psalms. Dove. Think of the Holy Spirit. But maybe for Corinthians. But an autumn rain. Actually, sounds like sounds like um, Proverbs. But so does a nursing mother. But I'll go with my gut. A nursing mother. There we go. There we go. All right. Next question. Question number two, do I need to move this? Maybe, let's see here. I'm able to get, okay, here we go. There we go. Question number two, what had Satan hindered Paul from doing? Remembering them in prayer, writing to them, visiting, visiting them in person, or sending someone to exhort them? I don't know this one. I don't think Paul would forget them in prayer. So, my guess is either writing, visiting, or sending someone. But Satan hindered Paul. My guess is writing. But it could be visiting. That's my second guess. Uh, which one? Which one? I remember in the book of Acts, the Holy Spirit would actually guide them, selling, telling them where to go or not to go. So, I'll go with writing. Here we go. All right, next question. Question number three. Why did Paul send Timothy to the Thessalonian church while he remained in Athens? To establish them, to encourage them, to find this out the status of their faith, all of the above. I'm thinking encourage. That's my guess. All right, question number four. Which of these things did Paul not exhort? They used exhort. The Thessalonian church to do. Which of these things did Paul not not exhort the Thessalonian church to do lead a quiet life mind their own business work with their own hands cease from selfishness I think mind their own business he would exhort them to lead a quiet life he would lead them to work with their own hands he would lead them to exhort them to cease from selfishness mind their own business it just seems the odd one out Okay, question number five. When the Lord returns, who will be raised first? The unsaved, the great sa saints, the dead in Christ, or living Christians? Oh, good. Finally. That one. <laughs> that one. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Question number six. In this book, how does Paul describe the day of the Lord? As lightning seen across the sky, a 
thief in the night. He doesn't talk about the dear Lord in this book. None of the above. Definitely he talks about it, but not as lightning, but like a thief in the night. Okay, I feel like good about this quiz. How did Bob charge the brethren to greet one another? Vigorous handshake, shalom, a holy kiss, by drawing a fish in the dirt. <laughs> it's a holy kiss. That's my guess. Alright. Question number eight. What did Paul say had happened before the day of the Lord? A falling away, the Antichrist would be revealed, the Antichrist would sit in the temple of God, all of the above. Oh, I know the Antichrist. But I don't know about the sitting in the temple. There would be falling away. Maybe all of the above this time. Maybe. It's been a while. So I'll do that. I'll leave buff. Although my first gut would be would be um, the Antichrist would be revealed. But I think I'll leave buff. All right, what did Paul ask the Thessalonians to pray? For personal prosperity? That he would be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men? That he could visit them soon? That the Lord would soon return? He would ask him to pray... That he would be delivered. Am I thinking of Acts? But that's my guess. What do you think? Alright. Last question. Number 10. What was Paul's instruction for dealing with those who didn't obey the word? Admonish them as a brother. Kick them out of the church. Treat them as an enemy or try to ignore the problem. Okay. Admonish them as a brother. As a brother. All right. Shall we submit? I think we shall. Let's view the score. And then, I. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 35 out of 50. That's 70%. That is three wrong. Okay. Majority still. Okay, question number one, to what did Paul compare his gentleness to? A nursing mother. Ooh, what had s Satan hindered Paul from doing? Not writing to them, visiting them. That was my other one. Okay, why did Paul send Timothy to the Thessalonian church to encourage him? No, it was to all of the above. Okay. Uh oh, that's the all of the above one, huh? Which of these things did Paul not exhort the church? Cease from selfishness. I must have read this question wrong. No, it's probably right. Okay. So that my that was my three wrong. So that means I got the rest right. Right? The Lord returns, the dead in Christ shall be rise raised. Raised first. Question number six in this book. How does Paul describe the day of the Lord? A thief in the night. Yep. How did Paul charge the brethren to greet another? A holy kiss. Yep. What did Paul say had to happen before the day of the Lord? All of the above. Ooh. What did Paul ask the Thessalonians to pray? That he would be delivered. And finally, the last question. I did get right. It is, what was Paul's instruction for dealing with those who didn't obey the word, admonish them as a brother? It's a pretty good quiz. You know, it wasn't too hard, but hard enough to where I had to struggle, take some time with a few of those questions. But that was actually kind of fun. I want to read Thessalonians again. Makes you want to read the Bible again, huh? Well, there you have it, folks. Another game night. Thank you for playing. I uh, hope you did well. And until next time, remember, God loves you, and so do we.